Hello everyone, it is I, Robbie Rapole, and I am on my way to Orlando Water Sports Complex to go wakeboarding. Um, and it is Monday, and I had a video already planned with one of my favorite people in the world. Uh, and uh, her name is Ashley Mondor, she's amazing. Um, she is like a love yourself coach. <laughs> um, she, uh, <clears throat> she just helps people figure out how to love themselves more and how to have a more peaceful, happy life. So we, we, we teach similar, similar things. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I have a, a very beautiful and like hour and something long interview with her that I was going to put up today but I didn't. I'm doing this instead. Because I will put that up when it's time to put that up. But what's going on now is I am experiencing perseverance actively. Active perseverance, right? Um, that's a term I just made up. But like, think about it. When you're in that perseverance stage, like full on activation mode in it. Um, sorry, I'm moving some things. Uh, some trash fell on the floor and when you have a prosthetic foot, you can't really work well with the trash. Um, so yeah, active perseverance, like actively persevering through life. Um, it has been a very eventful weekend for me, uh, for my oldest son, Jaden. Uh, he had some friends, Ovi and Ben, come and stay. And uh, we decided to make an extravaganza of a weekend. Uh, so Friday, we did a show at the shop, a free concert, and free love tattoos. We did over 70 free love tattoos. The only thing we charged people was to go pay it forward. Um, <clears throat> and the intention was to just put a positive wave of love out into the world. Uh, so we did that. Then we put on the free show where Jado... And Ovi and Ben and a bunch of other artists um, came out and really crushed it uh, on the deck of the tattoo shop, Rad Inc. So that was awesome. Um, <clears throat> then Saturday, Jaden went to uh, perform on a stage with uh, an artist named Bez Believe. He's fairly well known. He's got a great following. He's got a great brand. Uh, he does some really solid music. Um, and he's got, he's got just an overall message of like positivity, uh, you know, pushing yourself, um, supporting others, things like that. So that was really cool. And the hard part was things got messed up with the list of artists. So now the artists were going a little longer, uh, like just a whole lot of them was taking longer and the venue started to shut down. So then that was really wild watching my son experience uh, what happens when things don't go your way as an artist um, and how he dealt with it and how he bounced back from it. Uh, it was a it was a ride. Like, it made me emotional. I watched him get emotional. Uh, it made Donna emotional. But in the end, he was able to perform and he was the last person to perform. And, like, the crowd had dwindled. But as soon as he went up, everybody just fucking ran to the stage, it seemed, and just, like, supported and loved what he was doing, and like the crowd seemed very interactive. <clears throat> it was awesome. Uh, oh yeah, wait, so before I went to that, uh, that event on Saturday, I went and judged a sidewalk chalk contest with my friends from Inverness, Florida. So I was rushing around the state all day. It was a lot of work. Uh, we had someone watching the baby, and Donna was with me the whole time. And it was really cool. It was kind of like old times where we would just travel around together uh, and, you know, have great conversations and, like, build on our relationship. So it was it was a lot of fun in that. And s stepping into that, that was wild because when we went to that, <clears throat> it wasn't long before I was hugging and crying with people um, and realizing who I am. And like feeling my power and feeling my magic and being in.
in my magic and my power. Uh, it was wild. It was it was beautiful. It was scary. <clears throat> Afterwards, me and Donna were talking about it. <clears throat> She's like, you should make a video about it for yourself. And I did. And uh, I was saying how I didn't want to make the video. Donna made me. But I knew I needed to. I knew it was a good idea. Um, and I was just talking about standing in my power and really feeling it and accepting it. And I started crying a lot because receiving my beauty, receiving my gifts, receiving my power, um, living in my power, those aren't things I do regularly. <laughs> um, I do, but like I don't acknowledge them regularly uh, because I have a difficulty receiving. Um, so I'm working on my difficulty receiving. I receive better. Uh, as it were but uh, I'm still working on it and so you know we got all that going on and then we got the best show with Jaden and then we have uh, another show last night um, at Grumpy's Underground in Orlando uh, with Jado and, and Obi and Ben um, and that was another perseverance test you know like a lot of the artists because me me, Jado and 98 Entertainment organized um the two shows on Friday and Sunday so you know a lot of the people from the, the artist list didn't show up so you know first it was like the stress of oh is anyone going to show up to the shop um, then we crushed it then it was the stress of how everything how are we going to get to both events and then we crushed that then it was oh my gosh Jaden isn't going to be able to perform um, and when I say Jaden I mean JTL Jado my son the artist um, and so like we, we went through that and we crushed that. Uh, then Sunday, it was a trying day. Um, I was at a friend's house and uh, I got a call from an artist who no longer works at my studio to tell me they were no longer working at my studio. Um, so life just kept getting thrown at us in good ways, bad ways, uh, in different ways. It was just, life doesn't stop. And we just had to actively persevere. Like, Sunday night, last night, we were trying to, you know, hope that the lineup was strong enough and long enough to actually have a show other than just Jado, Ovi, and Ben. Um, and it worked, right? It worked. It worked really well. Uh, it was an intimate show. It was, it was awesome. Uh, it felt great watching the dudes fucking really go out there and, like, leave their heart on the stage uh there was one kid uh <clears throat> uh Antera, he uh he fucking um it was his first performance um a couple other really great dudes local legend turned twice turbo um fucking they're just all really great and like put their all into it uh and the, and the, the leader of the thing dr freon uh he he performed as well and he's phenomenal uh, another one of these dudes mickey he performed so it was like really awesome to see everybody like just getting out there and doing their things and just pushing forward and watching what Freon does with 98 Entertainment uh, you know he doesn't have a job that's his job right he doesn't have a day job <clears throat> and he's a younger guy and he's doing it and watching all these artists get together and do it and watching their journey <laughs> the artist journey is so fucking It's just, it's a ride. And it's a beautiful ride, and it's a difficult ride, and it's an amazing ride, and it's a fruitful ride, but it's a ride nonetheless. And these folks are learning how to ride this ride as young entrepreneurial artists. So I've been watching a lot of these young artists persevere through their tough shit. I persevered, so uh, full disclosure. Um, oh, I forgot to add this, my friends Kiki and David um, they started kindness kangaroos. Well, those are trackable good deeds. It's a little kangaroo with a with a with a QR code on the back, and you get this when someone does a good deed for you, and then you scan it in and say what the good deed is. Then you give the the kangaroo to someone else, and so on and so forth. So if you've received this kangaroo, you can track it and see where it's gone, and see what kind of kindness your kindness has produced. 
So uh, we got 50 of those for the shop, gave them all away. Uh, still did more free love tattoos than that. Um, <clears throat> so before the whole thing started, Kiki and David showed up and uh, we went in the back room and talked for a little bit and uh, man, did I cry um, my shit out. I was having a lot of imposter syndrome about the event. Uh, it was really crippling. It was difficult. I started tattooing an hour after I planned on because I was so stressed out. Um, and I just couldn't get my head right. And uh, when your soul family shows up and you get to cry together, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, so that happened. Then I tattooed Kiki and it was brilliant. And like, you know, her and David were, were ex expressing their fears and, and discomforts about, you know, doing the kindness kangaroos thing. And it was just basically a beautiful, a beautiful fucking uh, moment for our hearts to all connect and um, make each other feel validated and okay and like 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 we're not the only ones going through some shit right um and that's what it was that's what it was in those moments uh so it was really nice to have friends help me persevere uh and then later on in the day I sat in the back room with Jado and, and Ovi and Ben and I was like guys I really hope we get a crowd uh you know I, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm gonna let you all, let you guys down if I don't if I don't give you the crowd. And they're like, "Dude, are you kidding me? This is amazing." So I had to really um, I had to work through a lot of like, no one's gonna come to my party. And that stems from not feeling like enough, not being enough, feeling like you're not enough. You know that feeling where you're sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting and you feel like no one's going to show up. I've had a lot of that feeling in my life and it just likes to be there, it seems. And it's my ego protecting me. Because if nobody shows up, well, at least we already knew that no one's going to show up and we can be sad right away beautiful thing is everyone showed up and I didn't have to be scared and the fucked up thing is in the living comes the lesson in the doing comes the figuring so I just had to acknowledge that everything was going to be okay and it was it was totally okay not only was it okay it was amazing watching Jado perform was phenomenal it was it was kind of cool because I was sitting there tattooing. Um, my whole fucking chiropractic squad seemed to come in. Like, almost everybody from the office. Uh, Watt family chiropractic. Woo woo. Um, but yeah, so they all came in. And uh, I was doing a tattoo. And my nephew Gabe comes in. And he's like, Jada's about to perform. I was like, sorry, man. Got to go. Be back in a minute. And I went out there. And I got to watch Jaden perform. And it was phenomenal. And he... <laughs> <laughs> he unlocked something that night in his performances that I'd never seen before. And it was such a heightened level of confidence. And it was like this totally new performer. And he brought that with him to the show on Saturday. He brought that with him to the show on Sunday. And I'm just so fucking proud of him. My friend Exy was there and she said she took video of me taking video of him because it was so cute watching me be a proud dad. Cause like, I felt like I was doing things wrong cause I didn't believe in college and still don't. And so now like, helping him get his career started is like college for, for him. I make his life to where he only has to focus on music um, and living. So, like, that's my contribution to his future that I never thought I was going to give because I thought I missed the boat by not sending him to college. Um, 
So yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Uh, those were definitely more tears of joy. Uh, the other ones were tears of acknowledging acceptance. Oof. Actively persevering. Um, so yeah, it was really cool to watch him perform. Uh, and for those that are on the cliffhanger, I did go back and finish the tattoo. Then I kept tattooing until 12.30 in the morning. Um, and it was just a really great time. It was just so awesome. One of the artists that came out, Holly, uh, she told me a number of times how much she needed this. How much doing free tattoos all day filled up her love meter and her fuel gauge for life. So, in all this fear, in all this worry, in all this active perseverance that feels icky and scary at times, we made it. Not only did we make it, but we started to make a difference. And I truly believe that I can make a fucking difference in this world with my words, with my heart, with my art, with my love, through y'all, with y'all, <sighs> active perseverance, because perseverance is real, sometimes it's inactive, sometimes it's just like life on autopilot. I'll tell you what, this shit, this shit right here, it's going to test you, it's going to try you, it's going to pull you apart a little bit, but the parts that get pulled apart are meant to be put back together even better, which is what I've experienced all weekend long. gonna take me a minute to process everything that went down this weekend it was a beautiful weekend filled with a lot of heavy and great shit <clears throat> and I'm excited to see what I learned from it all on the on the same topic of perseverance the active kind I've been uh, started my coaching program started that um, last Tuesday it was beautiful, it was brilliant people are already seeing their lives start to change I'm excited for that part of me can't believe it and part of me is like yeah, you knew this was going to happen if you just did it so I did it and look at how it's going it's going great I'm so proud of myself and that's not easy to say, because I'm usually just ready to find my flaws so I can get better. But I'm learning being proud of myself, having grace with myself, having compassion with myself. It's more important than just beating myself up all the time. So, in conclusion, active perseverance, it's a real thing. Go persevere. Go try. Go try hard. Keep trying. Persevere through all the hardship. The hardship makes you tougher. Getting tougher makes it easier. Life is not an easy ride. It is up to us to do our best, to become our best, and live our best lives. So thank you all for tuning in once again to yet another Rad Movement YouTube channel podcast vlog type jammo. I love y'all. have so much good coming for y'all in the future. If you want to change your life, holler at me. I got programs. DMs are awesome. And if you're living life 
keep living it. But if you know you need to live more life, go on and do it. You can. I promise you got this. Go practice active perseverance. And also, go practice imperfect action. Couple that with active perseverance and watch your life change. I'm Rad and so are you. I love every single one of you. Thank you all for showing up. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for listening. Thank you all for loving. You know the deal. If you like the vibe, like, share, subscribe. And have a wonderful fucking day. I'm Rad and so are you.